All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we got going on today is a video of Keefe D exposing who took out the legendary Tupac Shakur. I don't know why this guy's still talking. I'll tell you this. Uh, but before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all the day ones. Salute to all the new subscribers. Nothing but love. Check this out. If you're already subscribed and you're not getting notifications, go over to the main page, click on the bell icon, and switch. Switch it from custom to all. That way you're notified of everything that we drop and not just, uh, you know, here and there. Uh, other than that, follow us on all our social media sites, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, TikTok, you name it. We everywhere. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pin real quick a QR code. Scan it with your phone. It'll take you to all our websites. Very simple. Pull out the camera, point it at the QR code, and voila, you got every single website that we're on in your hands. Uh, other than that, here on YouTube, follow us on Hater World Clips, Southside Stories, and Blue Devil Reacts. All right, uh, back to this video right here. Keefe D is still talking even after the feds, uh, I think they were the feds, uh, raided his home looking for evidence, even took some stuff as evidence, and he's still doing interviews and podcasts. Uh, either he got nothing to hide or either he just don't care. Which one is it? Only time will tell. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and give you guys a Southsiders reaction. Let's go. You was telling me before this interview that, you know, Orlando, his favorite rapper was Pac? Yeah, he, he, yeah. he has some good, good lyrics. He liked it over Biggs. A lot of people liked it over Biggs. He, he, he was hard. He, he was versatile. He was versatile. He, uh, he can go to, with the knowledge. He can go to the gangster. All eyes on me. He, has... he means Biggs. He sounds like he's saying pigs. Uh... He said that Orlando Anderson, favorite artist, was Tupac. You know, sometimes, bro, you could like someone, but if they do some fuck shit, you know, it's a turnoff. You know, pause, but, you know, it'll make you think, like, damn, I really fuck with this fool, you know? Hey, but let's not forget, when Spider Loke was up here, he said that, keep, that, uh, he said that Orlando Anderson was not the killer. He said it on air live. He said it was not Orlando Anderson. Let's go. Good ass songs. I ain't gonna lie. That double album was a motherfucker. Of course. That album went hard. Yeah, well, you know that double album was too Classic. Cold. All eyes on me. Timeless. That was, that was, yeah. Yeah. That was our boy. All of us. A whole low rider club used to be bumping that. All I Bro, that shit is that album is timeless. It's a classic. It's a master. That album needs to be inside of a uh Inside of a museum somewhere, bro. That's how classic that album is, bro. Let's go. It's old us, you know. Yeah, I just I hate that shit happened, dog. You know, he lied. I really do, man. Cause it fucked up, fucked up a lot of people's lives, dude. He lied. Hate that shit happened. Problems, God. He's not. He's not. Uh, he don't regret that it happened. He regrets. I don't know what he regrets. He regrets that he did it for Puffy and didn't get paid. That's what he regrets, bro. For real, for real. Bro, he don't regret. He's a gangster, bro. You don't regret things that you do unless you do something to, like, kids or, 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 or women or innocent people. Accidental, those are things you can't live with, right? But if you do something to another gangster, you don't feel bad, bro. He feels bad that he did it without pay. You know, now he looks at it like, damn, I didn't even get paid and I took out the biggest rapper on planet Earth. Somebody that, that was feeding a lot of people. Somebody that I actually like. I like him. But, you know, business is business. You know, he don't regret that, bro. He just regrets the fact that Puffy didn't pay him. I feel they, you know, they should, that, that was wrong, man. It was just wrong, purity wrong. You know what I'm saying? I wish that shit had never happened. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion on it. Wish that shit would have never happened, dude. You know what I'm saying? I lost my Colombian plug. You know what I'm saying? I had to 
been having the fans up my ass for 15 years. Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't catch a break, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I did time behind that shit. Hey, but that shit happens, though, bro. Listen, what do they say? When it rains, it pours. It happens for a reason, bro. It happens for a reason. Like, listen, everything happens for a reason. It's like a domino effect. One thing goes down, and then the next thing goes, and the next thing goes. And before you know it, it either it either falls to the ground or you're you're good enough to to still hold it above water. What I mean is like a lot of people, bro, when bad things start to happen, they give up. They start crying and whining and complaining and they give up, bro. They're done. They give up. They're 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 weenies. They don't know how to hustle. You know, they think that because they cry, it's gonna make it make it all better again. Put it to you like this. It's just recently I have somebody that's always reminding me of something. Hey, if we we'll remember this, hey, if we we'll remember this. And I'd be like, fool, shut the fuck up. Crying about it ain't gonna make it better. Instead of crying about how things were, let's try to figure out how to make it like it was and even better the fuck we still crying about how things used to be you know i I don't want to say what it was but it's like bro complaining is not gonna fix the problem you know what's gonna fix the problem figuring out the solution and a lot of people bro when it rains it pours they 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 don't know how to like maneuver they don't know how to like make it happen bro they give up and that's why they crumble let's go when i went to the fans the first time they had me on the seven fucking second phone call my lawyer like you ain't in there for this shit, Keith. You know what you in there for. I go, okay, big dog. He said they're gonna try to uh try to get get enough evidence so where you won't get out. And they kept on coming up there saying, You're never getting out. Uh, that day I got released, Facts. I was looking for it. You hear me? Facts. I made it out, but that dude didn't stop. That's Dope. all I can tell you. The dude uh major crime unit from the FBI, LA area. Boosie couldn't handle that pressure. You know what I'm saying? Look I handled that shit. I was up under that shit for 15 years, Mr. Boosie Boots. Hey, he's not lying, though. There's a lot of people that that don't, that don't, I'll put it to you like this. One time, and I keep giving you guys these stories. Eventually, I'll, I'll put them all together and give you guys South Side stories. One time, I got, I got arrested in Calexico, right? But I got arrested by ICE. And not because I'm a paisa or an illegal alien, but I got arrested by ICE. You know, and I'm in the ice, I'm in the ice holding tank. And somebody that, I don't want to say my crimey, but somebody that was sort of like, you know, in the mix somewhat, they didn't have nothing to do with this, right? Like at all, right? And they, they put them in a cell next to me. And this was already crying about bailing them out. And I'm like, fool, we can't get bail from the ice station, you fucking goofball. Like, we got to wait till we either get picked up and go to county, or if the feds come, then maybe they'll give us. At that time, I had never been to the feds or nothing, so I didn't know, right? I knew that once we hit county, we can get bail. Uh, so I didn't know, because when you're at the ice, you don't know if it's going to be state charges or federal charges. Those that know what ice is, I don't got to explain it. And this was already crying about getting them bail, getting them bail. And I'm like, fool, chill, right? And as soon as I, t- they, they ended up picking me up, go to county. When we went to county, uh, my boss came to put put my bail, you know, she, she it's a hyena. She posted my bail and I remember her, her words. She goes, you're worth more to me free than in jail. And then I go, hey, you got to bail this guy out, you know, and Within seconds, she bailed him out too. You know, so a lot of people don't, a lot of people fall under pressure, bro. You know, a lot of people don't know how to stay above water. And that's what he's saying right here. Like, Boosie couldn't do what I did. But I don't believe him, though, because Boosie did do a bunch of time on death row, you know. And so, you know, that means a lot, bro. Death row is scary. Yeah, I've never been there. But from the shit you see, come on now. I'm saying, I, I felt I did good, bro, you know. And, uh, Anybody, any anybody in their right mind would have did that shit in their right mind. You know what I'm saying? The deal they gave me, anybody in their right mind would have did that shit. Free day people from straight the indictment. You know what I'm saying? Anybody in their right because they was punishing my crew all over the country, dude. They was for the punishments. And they was gonna me leave people homeless. You know what I'm saying? People family on the streets and shit and put us all amens in jail. So just one day man is going to suffer. Our families are going to suffer. Our babies, our grandkids, everybody's going to suffer. Damn. So I felt I was like Moses, dude. Save my people. 
Hey, ain't it crazy? So, I don't know if he's considered a rat or not, but I do. I I do remember some shit that he sort of like ratted on somebody or or said everything about the Tupac murder, and that's how he was able to get out. I don't recall, bro. So I don't really want to speak on it, but I think that's what he's talking about right here. That anybody would have done that to get their people out of jail. You know, somebody leave it down in the comments. I don't I don't recall this guy's story like that. Let's go. That's what kind of deal they gave me. Anybody in their right mind would have did that shit. Even Mr. Tough Ass Boosie. Right, right. But yeah, man, that's wild, man. So Orlando, his favorite rapper was Pac. Yeah. 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 He liked it. Good dude, yeah. We, we, everybody used to bump that shit. The whole fucking world liked it, that shit. All I don't, if you didn't like that shit, you was a hater. Facts. You know, that I damn well, you know, I tell that, that shit was hard, but Facts. I liked the shit too. Facts. If, if, if Biggie them didn't like that shit, Pop, I mean, the Puff didn't like that shit, they hate too. Gene Hill didn't like that shit, they hate too. Facts. Clark Kent didn't like that shit, they hate too. Facts. What's his name? Uh, What's the dude's name? Grandmaster Flex. Oh, he yeah, didn't like, he him. bumped the shit out of that shit. Yeah, Funk, Funk, Funk Master Flex. Fuck him, bro. Listen, when that Can't See Me came on, Shorty Wanna Be a Thug, what's your phone number? Bro, I could probably name every single song on there, bro. That fucking album is a classic, bro. I still wish I would have kept my CDs. Who remembers back in the day, you used to get those uh, those newspapers, and in the back it was uh, order seven CDs for one penny. You know, bro, I used to scam the shit out of those. I had probably like 100 CDs, my boy. Let's go. That shit was hard. Everybody, the whole world liked it, that shit. That's why it sold so much. Come was it BMI? Man. I think it said BMI. You, be, you ain't got no good ears if you didn't like that shit. Something fucking wrong with you. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Be honest. Did you like it? Of course. That you, was a, you was a youngster, too. You, Yeah, you was a youngster. That all eyes on me. I used to be coming to my love right up. All eyes on me, you know? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was hard. And I used to be like, yeah, all eyes on me, you know? I ain't gonna lie. That shit was hard. Hey, you know that shit was hard. Yeah, hey, I, I, I really fuck with the people that don't that don't uh fake the funk, bro. This is right here the enemy of, of the label that Tupac was signed to. And if this fool was a fake, you know, flunky motherfucker, he'd be something like, nah, fuck Tupac. I never bumped him in my life. To, but, but to be able to say, yeah, I fuck with him. That's dope, bro. That that is fucking dope right there. They gave him his props. That shit was that motherfucker has some good shit, you know. Hey, so I guess the title reads Keefe D reveals Tupac Killer, but they never said it. Keefe D reveals Tupac Killer. Favorite rapper was Tupac. Oh well. Hey, whoever sending me these videos, make sure you run through them first. I was expecting to hear who killed Tupac. Hey, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, to all the people out there that are trying to investigate my shit, I hope you're piecing everything together. I'm sort of giving you pieces of my life throughout every video if you haven't caught it. So piece it together and then go on Instagram and make all these fucking false claims. I, I, I'm waiting to see. I, it's funny. Every day I wake up to something new, you know. But uh, I'm going to kill this video. We're laying call it a day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, I'm Blue Devil. This has been the Hater World production, and we out.